We're talking about Twine, which is an open source program that uses wiki formatting to allow us to create hypertext. The wiki formatting is very simple, a bit easier than using HTML, and it's the same formatting that's used on Wikipedia. The Twine program is available for free for Windows and Mac OS X, and there's also a convenient web-based version. There isn't currently an iOS version. There's also an advanced command line version that uses Python. Often people refer to Twine creations as interactive fiction, like choose your own adventure stories, but I'm just gonna refer to them as Twine projects because in my middle school computer classes, students have used Twine to create websites and games and quizzes and lots of other creative things. So this is the Twine website, Twinery. Org. Here's where we could download the application for Windows, OS X, or click use it online. Here is what the downloaded version looks like. When you first install it, it's going to bring up this tutorial. Your work is automatically saved, and then it takes you to the list of stories. Let's create a quick story. Now here's what it looks like on the web. As you can see here, a Twine project is organized in a nice graphical interface that shows connections between passages. It will point out any broken links. So right here I've just created an intentional broken link. I can see that there is no connection going to either of these passages, and this one is red because it has a broken link inside of it. Once you're finished, the program generates a single HTML page which contains the entire project. The Twine program allows you to create a project without needing to know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Later on, projects can be enhanced by more advanced coding, but the fact that such knowledge is unnecessary leads to a more friendly approach to beginning HTML. In my middle school computer classes, I've used Twine to introduce hypertext, interactive media, variables, conditional statements, and random numbers. Let's just look at creating a hyperlink. In traditional HTML, it looks like this. And in Twine, the same thing looks like this.